Knowing your partner's Enneagram type can revolutionize a relationship. So if you love an Enneagram too and you want to know how to love them better, I'm going to tell you the top 10 ways that you can love your Enneagram too. The basic desire of an Enneagram type 2 is to be appreciated, loved, and wanted. If your partner is a type 2, perhaps they're denying their own needs in order to focus on other people. Instead of waiting for your 2 to tell you how they need to be loved, let me tell you, you will be waiting a long time. Here are 10 proactive things you can do to show love to your Enneagram type 2. We're starting with number 10, to struggle with believing that they are worthy and enough just the way they are. So be intentional and remind them that they are appreciated right now, but make sure that you tell them that they do not need the outside reassurance to be lovable. They are inherently lovable right now. Number nine, most twos appreciate physical affection. I would not be surprised if the common love language of the Enneagram twos is physical touch. So give your two a back massage, hold their hand during a movie, give them long hugs and like physical affection when you guys are in groups or at parties, let them know physically that they are desired. Number eight, a two's interests can often be overshadowed by the interests of people around them. So show them love by taking interest in their favorite hobby. If they like musicals, take them to see Hamilton. If they love drinking wine, take them to a winery. That's me. Take me to a winery. I Yes. Twos are constantly caring for the other people in their life, and that often means they neglect themselves. So a good way to show love to your two is to present them with an opportunity to do self-care. A good way to do this would be like an at-home bath bomb kit or like a gift certificate to a spa, like a local spa, and then make sure they go don't let them give that gift card to anyone else because I know that they will. Number six, express gratitude. When a two does something for you, make sure you tell them how incredibly thankful you are for them. But also let them know that your love for them is not dependent on you doing things for them. Like this. I want you to know your help is so appreciated, but I love you even if you hadn't lifted a finger today. Thanks for saying that, but I, you know, I, I know that. I know that. I, I do know that. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Number five, and I'm excited about this one. I think that a great way to support your two is to plan an intentional coffee date where the entire point of the coffee date is to sit down and ask them what their needs are. Often you will need to do this with a two because sometimes unhealthy twos just feel like they can't express their needs because they don't wanna come off as needy and they don't wanna be seen as like too much work. Number four, learn all you can about the Enneagram types. If you have not already, subscribe to this channel because that is what this channel is all about, is learning how to love yourself and the people around you better. You can learn things like this. In their desire to be loved, they will accept pretty much anything in return. The annoying thing about this is that they refuse to prioritize their best interest and become milk toast in relationships. I hope you like this romantic dinner I cooked for us. The chicken is dry. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I will do better next time. Okay. I love you. Huh? Number three, when twos are tired, they often feel like people are taking them for granted. This is because twos tirelessly work for others, hoping to gain recognition and love, but they don't stop to take care of themselves. So if you can tell that your two is tired and irritable, give them a forced break. Take the kids to the park so that they can take a nap. Schedule a massage for them. Do what you know they need to completely relax and take care of themselves. Number two, because twos are in the heart triad, they feel very deeply. But something that we're not always aware of is that twos are also feeling what everyone else in the room is feeling. They are very empathetic. So if tensions are high and you're both in a fight, I advise that you take the time to cool off and let emotions kind of die down because the two is not only feeling their emotions in the fight, but they're also feeling your emotions. Cooling off time is a necessity for an Enneagram two, and I think that's a great way to show your two love. And finally, number one, be thoughtful. Remember what their favorite flower is. Mark down your anniversary in four different places and tell your best friend what it is and to remind you. That way you do not forget. 
ask them specifics about how their day was, this will make your two feel seen and loved. Let me know in the comments if these tips worked for you and your partner. And if you are a two and you have more ways that people can actively love on you and your partner can love on you, please put them down in the comments so that you can share with us as a community. If you're interested in connecting more with me and with other people who love the Enneagram, you can follow me at on Instagram at Enneagram with Abby and we do behind the scenes there. We talk more in depth about the Enneagram and all sorts of fun stuff. So thank you so much for watching and as always have a lovely, lovely day.